In December of 2019, an outbreak of a previously unknown coronavirus began. Severe respiratory illness, COVID-19, took many lives, shut down our society, and forced WHO to declare a pandemic of SARS-CoV-2. Like most viruses, SARS-CoV-2 consists of genetic material, in this case RNA, a capsule, and a lipid envelope. Since viruses cannot replicate on their own, they need to infect a living cell, which is then forced to rapidly produce thousands of copies of the original virus. The virus goes on to repeat this process, damaging the organism along the way. Luckily, viral infections in humans provoke an immune response that usually eliminates the infecting virus. The immune response consists of two distinct aspects, the innate and the adaptive. The innate is body's first quick reaction to any sort of pathogen. The adaptive is specifically tailored for each pathogen and therefore takes longer to activate. One of the key components and the focus of our work are antibodies, which are produced by B cells. Antibodies are large Y-shaped proteins that the immune system uses to recognize and neutralize foreign objects such as viruses. They recognize specific molecules called antigens. Antibodies are an essential tool in life science studies and are used both in diagnostics and therapy. The aim of my research is to produce and characterize antibodies that are specific for proteins involved in viral replication of SARS-CoV-2. We have focused on one protein in particular, NSP12, which functions as RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Since the genetic material of SARS-CoV-2 is positive-sense single-stranded RNA, it needs this virus to produce more copies of its genome. By targeting this protein, we stop it from replicating and therefore causing damage. We, ha we have employed different molecular techniques to first produce the target protein, which will be used in, immu in immunization. Upon exposing mice to this protein, we wait for the immune system to respond and afterwards collect immunocompetent B cells. B cells are then fused with myeloma tumor cells to form hybridomas molecular factories that can both produce monoclonal antibodies of high specificity for the target antigen and divide rapidly and indefinitely. Those antibodies will be further validated using techniques such as flow cytometry, immunofluorescence, and western blot. The development of these antibodies will be useful for basic medical research, diagnostics, and development of therapeutic antibodies, but further research is still necessary to best prevent, diagnose, and treat COVID-19. As we can see, this disease will persist and we must do everything we can to try to fight it. Thank you for your attention.